Hey friends, it's Travplate, and you guys voted on a guide on how to beat Pac-Man. One of the most classic video game characters of all time joins the scene in Smash Ultimate, and now he's way better than he was in Smash 4. He's often ranked as high tier or top tier by the pros, and he's a character with a variety of tricks and traps that'll make your brain hurt. But fret not, because I'm going to show you what moves to respect and what weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. To start things off, you need to respect his neutral special, Bonus Fruit. He holds out his hand and cycles through his choice of which fruit to throw at you. You don't want to leave him alone while he does this, because the items he gets when fully charged are dangerous. If you go in to attack, just keep in mind that he can quickly block, dodge, jump, or throw a fruit, so you need to mix up your approach. Throw projectiles if you have them, that'll make him stop fruit looping. Also each item can be recaught once and reused. And Pac-Man can even pocket the item if he wants, allowing him to attack and then bring it out again whenever. Pac-Man's cycle goes through this order. Cherry, Strawberry, Orange, Apple, Melon, Galaxian, Bell, and Key. You need to have a general idea of how each of them work, so you can respond correctly. The Cherry is weak. The Strawberry is a little stronger. The Orange goes straight at you. The Apple is where things start getting dangerous. Its throw angle can hit you off stage, and it can be used in combos with the Fire Hydrant. The Melon is a mix-up. It moves slow, but it hits hard. Watch out for this combo. The Galaxian is tricky. It flies at you, loops one time, and then keeps flying. It's easy to catch again, and leads into combos. You either shield or jump high over this one. The Bell is nasty because it stuns you, and allows Pac-Man to hit you again. It also flies at a strange arcing angle, often making it hard to avoid. Watch out for it especially when getting up from the ledge. Whenever I see Pac-Man with a Bell, I give him a lot of space and wait for him to throw it and miss. And catching this one can be risky, so I wouldn't recommend it. The key is the last item. It's a fast flying item that can break through Pac-Man's fire hydrant, other projectiles, and hit you across the stage. Fortunately, it doesn't kill until a very high percent. You know Pac-Man has the key if he's blinking like this. So get ready to jump over it. Pac-Man's down special, Fire Hydrant, is such a versatile tool. I'm not going to be able to cover all the ways you can use it because there are just so many, but here's the three basic things to look out for. First, watch out if he drops it on you from above. This is especially nasty when he's trying to keep you from getting back to the stage. Don't stay directly below Pac-Man, but always be a bit to the side, unless you got a powerful attack that can challenge the Fire Hydrant. After he drops the Fire Hydrant beside you, Watch how he comes down. Often, he'll either offensively move toward you with a down air, or he'll defensively move behind the fire hydrant. Either way, you should usually attack him. Just don't forget about the water pushing you around if you wait too long. Second, Pac-Man will use his fire hydrant as a shield, giving himself time to charge his bonus fruit. This is often a bait. He's waiting for you to make the first move. If you recklessly smash the fire hydrant over his head, He'll punish you like this. If you jump over the fire hydrant, he can stuff you out. So this is where you need to really do some deep thinking. If you want to beat Pac-Man, you need to become as much of an expert at the fire hydrant physics as he is. The hydrant will stay grounded until it takes 13% of damage, and that damage can either come from you or Pac-Man. Sometimes you may want to knock it away with one attack, or you may want to jab it multiple times, making it bounce at a lower angle. Practice with your character and get used to what attacks make it tumble at certain angles. The tumbling hydra can deal a lot of damage, so you either need to block it if it comes at you, or you can give Pac-Man a taste of his own medicine by sending it his way. And third, watch out for the fire hydrant's wind boxes. A wind box is something that can push you away without causing any damage. This can be used to push you off stage, push Pac-Man toward you, push you toward Pac-Man, or push his items insanely fast at you when you least expect it. My advice here is to use all this against him. Fight with the water, not against it. Think of this as a neutral stage hazard, not Pac-Man's evil demon hydrant. <coughs> if you shield the water, it won't push you, or let it push you into an attack or grab. Channel your inner Pac-Man and show him you can dish out some of the same tricks on him. 
Next, you need to respect Pac-Man's side special, Power Pellet. He can angle his pellets in any direction, and this move goes really far, making a great recovery tool and a combo finisher. And on top of that, it has heavy armor. So you have two options to beat this move. Lock or dodge and wait until the end of the move and then punish. Or you can hit the pellets before he eats them at the beginning, canceling out the move entirely. While you're at it, you can eat the pellet for a bit of health. Yummy! A tricky Pac-Man will use his up special, Pack Jump, to throw off your game. When he uses it on stage, he leaves behind a little trampoline you have to deal with. He'll usually do this to stop you from comboing him. While jumping over it might be the best option, sometimes Pac-Man will be ready to hit you back. If you land on it, it'll bounce you up twice until it turns red, and then landing on it again will make you freefall. You don't want to do this off stage, or on stage for that matter, because Pac-Man can punish you. You can hit the trampoline a few times, making it disappear. Watch out for when he places it near the ledge as you try to get up. Depending on its position, you might be able to roll past it. For some characters, there's no way to avoid it and you have to move into it, bouncing up. If there's platforms, Pac-Man can hit you as you bounce. To avoid this, you can air dodge the moment you bounce. Pac-Man's grab transformed from one of the worst grabs in Smash 4 to one of the best in Smash Ultimate. What makes this grab so good is that you can't spot dodge it because it lasts so long. And on top of that, Pac-Man's throws are pretty good. His down throw can lead into a tech chase, and his down throw can kill at the ledge around 140%. While Pac-Man may seem like a trap-focused defensive character, he can actually do a good job being aggressive and rushing you down, mostly with his aerials. They're all fast and powerful, but they lack reach. Sword characters can often beat these out. And for all you casual players out there, here's the final smash, Super Pac-Man. This one is tricky to avoid because he can angle his attacks to wherever you move. You can try going high when he initially attacks, dodge it, and then drop low. He shouldn't be able to angle that low to get you. Before you get into the weaknesses, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'd really appreciate it and it helps a ton. As for Pac-Man's weaknesses, we'll start off with his struggle to KO you. He definitely has moves powerful enough to knock you to the blast zone. Most of them are slow and easy to react to. So it's pretty often that you'll get up to the high percentages before he can finally land the killing blow. This gives you a good chance to take the lead and then play defensively against him. As long as you avoid running into his traps and setups, you should be able to outlast him. It's pretty common for my matches against Pac-Man to run out of time. Do whatever you can to take the lead before it does. Characters with reflectors can mess up a lot of Pac-Man's traps. They may really upset the Pac-Man who loves to play defensively, and you just hang back reflecting whatever he throws at you. But the reflectors won't do much against the aggressive Pac-Man, so don't rely on reflectors all the time. You would think that with all of Pac-Man's projectiles and traps, he'd do fine against characters who zone him out with projectiles. But the truth is that they can really mess up his gameplay. They can hit him out of his bonus fruit, and they can knock away his fire hydrant from a safe distance. And they rarely fall into the traps because they don't get close enough. The main thing zoners have to look out for is Pac-Man's key. If they do that, then they'll likely win. Your best tool against Pac-Man is pressure. Stay on him, don't let him get away and set a camp. While it can be hard to get through his traps and tricks, once you do, Pac-Man is at your mercy. So lay on the combos and knock him off stage. And the last thing you'll need to exploit is Pac-Man's recovery. To be clear, I would not call it one of his weaknesses because his side special and up special are really good at getting back to the ledge. But you can definitely stop them. Stop his power pellet by hitting it at the beginning or at the end of the move. As for his up special, it can hit you as it bounces up, but you can beat it with a powerful attack. One disrespectful way to beat his up beam is to land on Pac-Man's trampoline between his second and third bounce. This will force Pac-Man to free fall if he lands on it again. And with these tips in mind, have fun beating Pac-Man.
thanks for watching, and thanks to the community for all the advice on Pac-Man's strengths and weaknesses. If you enjoyed the video, please wall up the like button and subscribe for more. And while you're at it, check out my playlist on how to beat every character in Smash Ultimate. And stay tuned as I finish the series. See ya.